fools Obamacare is once again in the headlines as we see fallout continue from the health insurance exchange rollout fiasco that has kept millions of people from getting enrolled in insurance policies under Obamacare. My name is Dan Kaplinger. I'm the Motley Fool's Director of Investment Planning. And today, I want to take a look at whether all the uproar about Obamacare penalties is really warranted. Now, a lot of people have focused on these penalties, which are scheduled to take effect January 1st. And many lawmakers are calling for the difficulties in getting enrolled, justifying pushing those Obamacare penalties back beyond that January 1st due date. And so we've started to see reports from the Obama administration trying to clarify that as long as people get their enrollment started by the March 31st open enrollment deadline, that they would not have to pay Obamacare penalties, even if delays in implementing that insurance coverage took their effective dates of their policies beyond that March 31 deadline. But take a step back for a minute. We're talking about Obamacare penalties that are relatively small, at least in this first year. We're talking about penalties that amount to $95 for a large number of people, 1% of income above certain thresholds for those who make more higher levels of income. But the idea that the penalties will have a big impact on the industry are largely overblown. In addition, even though the com some companies that have had trouble with their health insurance exchange rollout, companies like CGI Group that were in charge of getting a lot of the web infrastructure in place to enable people to sign up for coverage, even though some of those companies have come under fire, there are a large number of companies that have done a relatively good job implementing Obamacare exchanges. Companies like Xerox and Maximus have done a really good job with the state exchanges they've been affiliated with. And behind the scenes, you can see that consulting, IT consulting services from IBM and Accenture have done a good job of getting things in line. And although the system hasn't come off without glitches, it's something that once the systems have finally been resolved, you can expect them to keep working for years to come. I think that in general, after this initial period gets done, initial calls of, for eliminating Obamacare penalties won't be justified based simply on the failure of the rollout and that eventually you'll see the system work much more smoothly. Now for more on Obamacare, making sure you keep up to date on every headline that hits, be sure to stay tuned to fool.com and be sure to sign up for our Obamacare special report by clicking the link above the video. Thanks for watching and fool on. 